Right before this video starts, I have a huge announcement, something I've been working on for a while, and you can finally purchase this hat right now. Now, if you don't want to buy this hat, don't worry about it. We're going to have some good creek fishing video coming up. I've put a lot of effort into trying to get this new logo, new design out, this new hat out, and uh, I've been working with the company trying to do that, and it's taken a long time, and it's finally available for a limited time. I'm only going to have it available for sale for a couple months, unless I work something else out, and hopefully I will do that in the future. But you can buy this hat. Maybe you're looking for a hat like this one. Maybe you want a hoodie or a different shirt. Maybe you even want my newest design that I haven't even got out yet. It's the first, like I ordered one myself, and hopefully it'll be out soon. I don't even know what I'm going to call it, but it's like creek time or fish time design i don't know what it's going to be called but you can buy that shirt so a few options out if you're looking for them i appreciate anybody that goes over there and orders them the information is in the video description i'll have a link to the website to go order them and you can do that now now let's get back to the real reason you clicked on this video I don't know if y'all can hear that. I think that's those spring peepers or whatever they're called, but I don't know what's going on this year. It's it's feels like April almost. It's like 70 degrees out here. It's still February, but it's gotten so warm here recently. I'm gonna start hitting some small creeks and I gotta, I'm gonna stop at a few bridges, I think. Try to like throw in some small lures, look for sunfish. Like I wanna see if I can find some of them sunfish that are getting active and like that one, two foot deep creek. So let's get in here. I, it could be awesome. I may have to move around or hit jump through a few spots, but it's gonna be fun just to be out here walking around. It's a little windy right here. Ooh, the water's backed up. Looks really nice though. Let's see if anything's active in here. These are the kind of little creeks that hold just a bunch of sunfish in the summer. Fish get up in here, but in the winter, they really shut down or something. Got him, got him. Oh man. Oh, it came off. Did you see that was cool? That hit, that dude hit. That was a strong fish. This may be a pretty good day. It's like I bet that pocket right there is probably up to my waist if I was standing in it. Got it. There's one. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's on a tree. He's on a tree. Get out of there. Yes! That's not the one we lost. There was a bigger one that hit. That is awesome. Boom! Little largemouth on the side of the road. Man, these little guys get me so excited. Just see these little fish active. So I'm kind of working it really slow. Just letting it. And he's on. Why am I losing them? Is it the hook? If I lose another one, I'm gonna change up. I don't, what's going on? Or maybe they're just, the way they're biting is so soft. That's three hits. Fish, got it. I'm gonna set the hook on them a little better. I do have an ultralight rod, it may be part of the problem. Two, oh great. Now we got a ambulance coming through. My truck's parked on the side of the road. Hope we don't hit it. This creek is, um, gets backed up by beavers and it's backed up again. You can see that's real calm. Oh, something smoked it. What is that? Came out of that brush. Oh my, the red breasts are active. This is not right. This can't be February. What is going on? That's what I was looking for. There's our red breast. Sunfish. 
Oh, I didn't even realize there was another beaver dam up there. Look at that one. These creeks get, they change all the time. It's amazing how the fish stay in there. But like these used to be a big beaver dam like three or four years ago, then they cleared it all out. Now they've come back, built another one with a little pocket of water up there. We're gonna head five miles downstream. Well, it's five miles to get there. So there's uh, two or three creeks that run together, but this creek flows into, this is a branch that goes into a creek. And it's, it's a spot I've been to before. I didn't really realize that these connected. Next stop sign, turn left. So we're gonna head down there and um, I think the fish will be active there. It's, it is crazy how warm it is, but don't think it's always that way. And we are getting some wind coming in and I can tell a storm's coming in. Uh, it's supposed to drop down back in the 20s, I think, in the next couple days. Wind calm down. Oh yeah, yeah, there should be something. Oh. There's a fish. There's a fish. What do we got? Let's see if it'll stay on there. Oh! It's a little large mouth. Hey, it's a nice little large mouth. I went back to the lure I started with. Hooked him good. This is a 148th ounce, which is not much heavier, but the little Bobby Garland, it's actually baby bass color. It got me about a nine, eight, eight, nine inch large mouth right there. I'm surprised we got all these large mouth. I thought it'd be some more sunfish. Well, let's throw it back in there. Oh, I saw something eat it. I saw something eat, but I had so much slack in my line. I couldn't set the hook on it. Because the wind. It's the only hard part. Finesse, ultralight fishing, wind. Wind's the nemesis for sure. Uh oh. Am I going to add another hook to the tree that has a, that limb right there has got a ton of hooks in it and I'm going to add to it, I think. Boom. All right, win. Let's just calm down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Feels good. Is it a bass? It's another bass. Oh my goodness. I might have to throw, th this would have ate something bigger. Okay. I th oh my, that's a nice bass. That's a fun ultralight catch right there. Dude, he's fat. They are hammering this little thing. I might have to throw something else over there. That's a chunky bass. Okay. How many more fish are over there? Mm, got one. Hey, a bluegill. Okay, there's some fish in there. I just gotta keep getting in right in that channel where that little bitty stream's flowing in. Now I got a bluegill. Ooh, the sun just popped out. That feels good. Oh, oh, I see him. There's so, there's a bunch of fish in the mouth of that creek right there. Why are they all sitting right there on the edge? Oh, there's all kinds of little bass coming out of there. I was standing right there, casting across this creek into this little channel. Just got a little bit of water flowing into it, but it's clear. And take a look at this. Oh, you see them already, look at all that. Look at that. Look how many fish are just sitting right here on the mouth of this thing. That's just really cool behavior. I would think that this is, this is what you'd see in the summertime. All these fish, there's a lot of them right there. Oh, there, oh there's a nice little bass. Look, oh, I didn't even see that one. Look at that one on that ledge over there. Three, three of them right there. Four? I don't even know. There's so many fish right here. Dude, look at this. 
Look at this bass. I just, I just turned the camera off and this big bass came in. That's like a 12 inch. Two, oh man. Those are like 12 inch at least. Good fish for this creek. Oh my, look how many bass there are sitting right there. Oh, I just spooked them there. I just moved and I spooked them. Okay, let's see if we can catch a couple. Here comes something. Eat it. Got something. It's not a bass. That's a good fish. I don't want to spook everything off. Cause some of them bass are still sitting there. Oh, a nice bluegill. That's a pretty bluegill right there. Look how he's shaped. Such a nice, nice healthy bluegill. I was gonna leave and then I just got curious about this little area. I'm like, why am I catching so many? Like, let me get a closer look at it. And it's really cool what I've come across here. Yeah, this is not typical February weather. And I don't know if I've ever seen, you know, fish this active when I've really been paying attention. I'd say I've only really been paying attention to winter creek fishing for three to four years. So it could be something that happens, you know, and it gets warm like this. But I also know that we have a good chance of it getting really cold. And even through March, like a couple of years ago, it was really cold all through March. And then, and then sometimes March is nice and warm and the fish get active. But all I know is they were so active today. Just really cool to see that much activity. Those bass going to shallow water along with all those sunfish. A lot of them weren't biting. It was like they were getting into spawn mode, which I guess that's what they think, you know, probably getting ready to happen, which which usually for another month or so. This kind of stuff gets me excited and um, I'm probably gonna go over and try another place out just to see how active they are. But thanks for watching. All I know is uh, hopefully this continues and this is kind of stuff I'll plan to do all throughout the summer.